Hello and welcome to another installment of the black and blue garage while I work on Blue Manchi. Here's my fuel tank. It's an RCI based aluminum 15 gallon tank. I think it's the 2161 style. Comes with a nice RCI fuel filler and cap. And then it has these um, ports that you can take and put dash or AN8 fittings for your fuel pickup, return, and rollover vent. Um, what we're doing today is I've ordered this fuel hanger and normally you would have a fuel pump outside your tank and it would suck fuel out of your fuel pickup. This one is going to take, um, this one's gonna hang inside the fuel tank and replace this filler um, using a uh, stock pickup Bosch uh, fuel pump and it's going to push fuel out of the fuel tank. Now, um, I'm told that the benefits of this is um, it's going to keep your fuel pump nice and cool and also insulate um, provided that your fuel tank is full and the fuel pump is submerged in fuel. Um, it'll be a lot quieter than some of the external air cooled or whatever, what have you, fuel pumps that there are. So this kit about $107. You can buy it on Speedway, you can buy it on Jegs Racing, you can buy it on Amazon, um, a few different people that sell it and it's around $100. So the project for today is to get this properly adjusted because um, so you've got to set this up. This is um, has two bolts in it and this bar can go up and down. And what you want is for this fuel pump to be sitting, resting almost even, on the bottom of the fuel tank so that I can get all the fuel out um, even when the fuel level is really low. Um, but they, when they send it to you, it's in a small box and it's all collapsed like this. So this is a 10 millimeter Try not to lose that one. I guess that's the joke, right? You lose, always lose the 10 millimeter. Take these bolts out. Now, my plan is I'm going to remove the old fuel filler neck and I'm going to put this one on the studs but off to the sides. Um, and then I can line this up to. Um, deep enough so where I can when I clamp this on there everything will be perfect and hopefully when I drop this into the tank everything will line up the way it's supposed to so take my nice RCI cap with RCI sticker on it um, let's find out what size looks like it's a 7 16 we'll take all these bolts off this kit did come with all the hardware needed and it even came with a new mounting ring just in case you're doing this years later. Technically, you're not supposed to reuse nylon uh, lock nuts, but um, since I haven't had any fuel in here yet and, it, and it's pretty much brand new, um, I, I'm going to save all the hardware they sent me. That way, if I ever have to take this pump off, I'll have extra stuff. Put it in my little kit. Fuel repair kit. I know these studs aren't a part of the tank itself. It's like a ring. In fact, they sent me one. Um, and there should be holes in the tank. And then there's a, ga there's a gasket involved. Okay, so you basically put the ring inside the tank it comes up i don't know what holds it up maybe the gasket is a snug fit around the studs but i'm sure i'll find out here in a few minutes 
So you can see this, this, uh, these studs are kind of trying to fall. So that's, that's what's, uh, what's weird about this is, uh, I'm not exactly sure you're supposed to hold this, maybe hold the studs and then pull the, the filler off, maybe. I don't know. It actually holds that up. So, I'll take the, this uh, gasket off. Yeah, you see it's just, it's just some holes and the studs go around it. I can see that this fuel sender has a float on it. And then these, these two ports here are just passed through into the tank. This one has a tube that goes all the way down to about an eighth inch from the bottom. There's no screen on it or anything. If you're gonna run this tank 2161, I would run a screen uh, before your filter, uh, just in case there's any sediment that gets sucked into the, into the lines. Oh, another thing, the gasket that I just pulled off is rubber. Um, the gasket that I got with the RCI kit is cork. Let me know in the comments which one you think is better. The cork one looks nicer, so I think I'll, I'll put that one on. Um, this will last longer in a toolbox while I'm off-roading. So I'll use the cork one now, and then um, if I ever have to do a repair to a fuel pump and I need a gasket, I'll be using the rubber one to replace that. You want to do some kind of zinc coated or um, electroplated hardware inside your fuel tank because you never know um, what is going to wear off the steel hardware and cause them to rust or deposit any kind of uh, marginal amount of chemical into your fuel. Um, I know a lot of LS guys like to run E85 or, you know, other kinds of fuel so they can go fast and all that, but... Okay, now we're on there. Well, first of all, I want to figure out <coughs> which direction I want to face that. And I think if I put my wiring toward the inside and I run my two fittings toward the inside, I haven't really decided where I'm mounting the tank yet, so it's hard to decide which orientation to mount this fuel filler neck. So, one can be for fuel supply, and one can be for fuel return, and then we'll use the rollover vent by itself and cap these two off. So, I think if I, if I mount this like that, um, my fuel lines can tuck down behind the back of the tank, or it would be the front of the tank. And then if I decide to remotely fill this from the side of the truck, um, it could come down and capture the top of this. Take a paint marker. I'll mark that hole and that hole. That way I won't put it in wrong. I want my screen to face a certain way and um, I want to face it toward the middle of the tank and that's because if uh, I'm flexed out and I'm, I'm running on the last three gallons of fuel and I tilt this way if my if my fuel pickup is facing away from my my last three gallons of fuel then I'm sucking air and my engine's gonna die whereas it if I'm facing that way, a half gallon to a gallon of fuel is going to make all the difference and I'm still in business. So I'll have to get a longer fuel line because this is what came in the kit with the fuel pump and that's just way too short. Um, so I'll measure that up and I'll go buy some this week. So that's actually really tight so maybe, maybe hose clamps are the way to go after all. Give it a little bit of a snug fit. I want this to be resting right on the right on the right on the bottom. When I pull it back out again, I know that'll be at the right height. With this fuel pump a little bit loose, that should that should lift it up to where it's 
where it needs to be. All right, let me show you a trick. Get you some, some zip ties. Pull this ring all the way up. You want to get your zip tie around one or two of these studs. Two is better because um, then you're able to cut right between the studs. And that'll hold everything up. Put this where I think it should go. And I will put two lock nuts. And then we'll go in and, and uh, cut those zip ties without cutting the uh, gasket. Pull those out of there. I don't have to fight with these studs. Maybe, maybe my, I guess you have giant hands. Also, if you cut upward, you cut away from your gasket. Already tell that that fuel tank, is hit, that fuel pump is hitting the bottom of the tank before we push this down. So if I tighten these nuts, I'll know. Um, because we snugged up on that hose clamp that that fuel pump is going to be the perfect height and then I'll tighten that hose clamp put the second one on there uh, we'll get a longer fuel hose from advanced auto parts or something and this thing will be ready to mount permanently and now we can just take it back out and tighten everything back up okay so let's tighten this up before it moves get this get the second one we as long as we keep one hose clamp tight we can move the other but I think I'll spread these out once I get this one tight you know at first the hose clamps might have started raining at first these hose clamps seemed kind of tacky and um, like they wouldn't work but um, they're holding this thing on pretty strong okay back from the store it's got uh, two different size fuel lines because I forgot to bring the little short one. Looks like it's this size. Here's my problem though, because um, on this fuel pump, this hose fits the best on this fuel pump. And a larger one fits the best on that side up here. But um, I'm thinking that I could probably put the smaller one up there if I really try. So I'm gonna give it a shot. We'll see what happens. A little bit of WD. Well, it's on there. Okay. Cut this to length. Put both hose clamps on there. And then slide this over the next one. And there we have it. Just like that. Now I just need to tighten up these hose clamps. That's clamp number two. I've got everything I need for my fuel delivery system inside the tank. We've got our uh, Weller pump. It's not a Bosch. I was wrong about that. I remember now I ordered the Weller one. It's got a screen on it. We've got wiring harness going through the lid. Uh, we have our fuel hose. That's ready to go in there. Just for the sake of um, just to see if I can do it. I'm gonna try to do this without zip ties to see if it's possible. Because it didn't seem like it was cooperating very well. I'm able to grab one stud very carefully. You can very easily do this without the zip tie method. Okay, now that this is in place, it's orientated right. I got these fuel lines gonna face to the back of the tank to go down. I've got my wiring harness gonna go to the back of the tank. And we can start taking these little plastic washers, putting those back on. I think the easiest way to do this is to put two lock nuts on over the washers and tighten them down. And then once we have that, It'll be easier to get the rest of the washers and nuts on. These little plastic washers are pretty easy to push down with a socket.
And that's how you install the RCI fuel hanger into the 2161 style fuel tank. Who welded this?